that they haven't, they never will. So there's no place like home. We all want to go home. So here's a very simple process of spiritual life. Singing, this transcendental sound vibration is very pure sound vibration. Dancing in ecstasy, hearing some philosophy. This is not a sentimental thing. This is not just emotion up here. No, this is based on a very sound philosophy, mainly the Bhagavad Gita, 700 verses of, of spiritual knowledge which were given by Lord Krishna 5,000 years ago, as applicable today as they were 5,000 years ago. It's based on a very sound philosophy, a very ancient culture, a little philosophy. And after singing and dancing and hearing some philosophy, you look tired, you eat. You eat. What do you eat? Sanctified foodstuffs. Nonviolent food. No one can become a saintly person if he lives on violence, if he eats others to maintain his himself. That's not even civilization according to ancient Vedic culture. Nonviolence, ahimsa. Do unto others as they do unto you. Pinch yourself, it hurts you. Pinch the cow. Woo! So fruits, vegetables, grains, milk products. But you offer it to the Supreme, it becomes blessed. So our spiritual master joked, you can eat your way back to the spiritual world by eating the sanctified food that we're distributing there. This is the summit summary of our tradition. You know, there's lots of activities going on here, face painting, you can wear a sari, there's all kinds of exhibits, and there's the chariots and this and that, but I think it's also important to tie it all together why we're here and what we're doing. We're sharing this great spiritual culture with all of you. And just for those of you who are curious, what's it all about, I gave this five minute talk. So I hope you understand a little bit better who we are, what we're doing, and where we're going, and why we're singing the same name over and over again. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Highest pleasure. Please, chant with us. There's a saying in this country, it's not my, it's not my country, we don't say it like that. They say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Cheerio. Yes. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. So we're explaining something quite deep here. Try it. Why not? You're not going to lose anything. You're there in the comfort of your, <coughs> your chair. Repeat after me. <coughs> Hare Krishna. They did better in Paris. See you play. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Look at the person sitting next to you. See if they're smiling. It works. Even for the first time, it works. If you can take anything away from this event, it's here today, you come by tomorrow, you won't see all this beautiful, colorful, joyful culture. If you can take anything with you, please take the chanting. It's described as the most simplest and sublime process of self-realization in this age. To sing these sacred sounds, to dance in ecstasy, little philosophy and some prasadam. It's a recommended process, not just for Indians, the whole world. Here we have the whole world represented here, up here. It will also work for you. You'll become peaceful, become joyful, and in due course of time, you become spiritually enlightened. And at the moment of death, you don't have to reincarnate. You lose your interest in this world, you find a better place to go. You'll go home. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. I've got 10 minutes. Please chant with me.
great happiness. So if you feel like dancing, then hold that. Yeah. 
Hare Rama.